What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. I also have an article posted by Cointelegraph, which talks about XRP's price breaks out of range with a 25% rally, but why? So this is interesting questions. As you guys know, the past couple of days, I've been reading your comments in regards to the fact that we should use the manipulation that's going on within crypto or within XRP specifically, which is the SEC lawsuit into its technical analysis, which is interesting. Uh, we definitely should factor it into the equation uh, because it will have a you know, an influence on the cryptocurrencies and on XRP specifically. Um, but we're going to be looking at the technical analysis as well as the lawsuit and kind of figuring out where, you know, what's going on is correlation always causation. There's an interesting, uh, you know, chart here, which we're going to be looking at, which you can see is this downtrend here that we've been tracking as well for a very long time. And you can see finally, after a year, over a year of downtrend, we've now just started to kind of peak above it here just a little bit, which is interesting so we're going to look at that we're going to see if our chart lines up with that as well as going over whether or not we should be trading xrp because there's a different story right here when you look at this candle as well as looking at these other cryptocurrencies and the s p 500 with uh that all being said remember guys we are still doing our uh, xrp crypto coin ticker display giveaway as you guys know i have this bad boy in all of my videos right here it's 24 7 shows you the prices of all cryptocurrencies that you want um their ticker and everything which is super cool it has a value of 130 dollars plus shipping but you guys can win it completely free i'll ship it to you all you have to do is comment subscribed and then make Make sure you're actually subscribed as I will be checking. Uh, link is down in the description below. Just follow the, the rules to enter the giveaway. It's super easy, super simple. And yes, I will be checking. If you're not subscribed, then I will have to pick somebody else to send this uh, over to. So definitely make sure to check it out. If you're already subscribed, just comment that down below too. Um, but with that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, I feel like what we have to look at first is uh, this XRP article posted by Cointelegraph. Now, I also want to look at the S&P 500, which is falling. There's a lot of important stuff to talk about. If you want to learn a, a little bit more about the S&P, what's going on, uh, stick around later on in today's video, but I want to cover XRP first. So you can see your XRP price breaks out of range with a 25% rally, but why? And as you guys can see, XRP attracts expires after the hope of a positive court ruling triggers a 25% rally above a key long-term resistance level. Now, what's interesting is the coin telegraph chart, or sorry, coin market cap shows a different story saying XRP is up 50% in the past week, which is insane. It's incredible. Uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely wild to see this. And we're already up 10% today, which is just, we're just stacking on the, the explosion in price that we're starting to see now. Um, and we're going to talk about buying in and selling it and stuff like that in a second. But, and I know a lot of people actually took advantage of this XRP bull run here. Since we confirmed closing above this major moving average here, we've been a moonshot to the upside here. And then we even have people that have been taking advantage of it since the descending fractal this explosion to the upside here so it's quite exciting but you know seeing whether or not we go higher is a different story now what we need to look at here is i've highlighted it and it says currently xrp price reflects a near 25 percent gain as the asset is up 41 percent in the past month according to a defense lawyer james uh, k Fallon, on september 18th ripple labs filed a motion for summary judgment a legal process that involves the court making a final decision based on the provided facts rather than ordering a trial and a decision on whether xrp is a security is expected by mid-december that's huge and that's why people are buying xrp now because they think you know they believe that XRP is going to win the lawsuit, so they're trying to buy it now at this low price to, you know, make their money when, you know, we do see a, ma a major swing to the upside. People typically buy the rumor and sell the news, so this is good news in regards to the prices moving up. But are we going to continue to move up? That's the question. You can see from the perspective of technical analysis, XRP price is looking to secure a second daily close above a long-term descending tr uh, trend line, resistance and trading volumes, and open interest on future contracts have risen sharply in the past 24 hours. You can see here, this is the major downtrend we have that you know exact same thing drawn on xrp here on our charts too it's not something that's abnormal as a very easy textbook discovery here you can see though we're having a little bit of issues breaking through that so i don't know exactly how coin telegraph has this downtrend we did break through it a little bit on xrp's chart like if we jump to the daily you can see here how there was at a time where we did kind of trend above it but i don't think we're above it just yet and i feel like they're kind of manipulating that uh quite a little bit but we did for a few minutes break above it here so it's something to keep in mind now moving forward after that article we have to look at this as you guys know on the 
weekly charts here, we have this major downtrend. This major downtrend started April of 2021. So we've had many, 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 many days of downtrend here in this triangle. We've had approximately 525 days, which is absurd. It's incredible. Notice here the pattern though, which is quite important. Uh, typically what we've noticed here, and granted we don't have all the history or we have most of the history. This is dating us back to like 2017, but you can see here typically what XRP breaks out of are descending triangles. You can see it here. We have this descending triangle on XRP from all of 2017, 2019. This is before the lawsuit. And then we had a major rally. I think this was during the lawsuit here. We had this major rally, but this rally also happened at the same time XRP and Bitcoin did and same thing here. But you can see we tend to have this downtrend here where we fill in the gap and then we see a bullish break. Now to say that we're above it here and filling in the gap here is, is accurate too because there's a good chance we're not going to fall as low. The price of XRP is at practically $20,000. So clearly we're not going to fall as low as we did last time here. There's a lot more people in it. But you can see the problem is we're now battling out a major uh, resistance here. We broke through a major support. We thought this was the, the original triangle. We extended that lower. So now this could be the, the uh, you know, the descending triangle, whatever you want to call it, the trend line, the downtrend. Um, but we're retesting it right now. You can see we've done this on numerous occasions. One, two, three, four. And here's the fifth retest here. It's a problem zone for XRP. We have moving averages acting as a major resistance. You can see we eventually broke through it here, but we weren't battling it at the same time. They were much higher. It gave us room to catch up. But you can see here, so not only do we have a downtrend, but we have the resistance, this resistance level here that's caught us up at 59 cents. We also have the moving average. So there's three areas of major resistance right here, which is just pushing the price of XRP lower, making it very difficult. It's very simple to buy in. Um, you know, in regards to long term, I think I'm gonna, you know, skip out on the short term buy for me personally right now because I do strongly believe, you know, we might have a few trades put up on Patreon short term just what you know the risk level and the tolerance you know for some people that are interested because there is plenty of money to make on this there's a good chance we could short this too but what i'm truly looking for the biggest uh ulterior motive that i have is breaking us through this resistance that's it i mean the thing is we retested it this week oops we retested it this week but we didn't have luck so far breaking through it which is you know incredible we we hit it had resistance, we fell. So what I'm looking for, what everybody's looking for, is for us to break this resistance. If we can break this and close a weekly at 60 cents here, there's a good chance we'll rally up. We just need a trend outside of it. I mean, ideally what we'd look for is we're probably going to see a correction. I truly believe we're going to see a correction here. But there's a chance if we could just break through it like this, that's fair game to say, okay, we're going to be going bullish very soon. It happened here, and then we saw a bullish rally. So that's truly what we're looking for with an XRP. We look really good, but there's an off chance that we are going to get rejected. Even the DLA is becoming extremely oversold. You can see right here we are oversold. So there's a good chance we will reject this as we are already doing today, and we will pull lower. That's my thought here. But we'll see how that goes. And there's a good chance we could uh, short this opportunity. Obviously, we do all of our trades on Bityard, the number one cryptocurrency exchange. Why, you might ask? Well, it's plain and simple. Unlike many other exchanges that I've used, Bityard actually offers XRP, which is astonishing. You know, you can see it right here. You could buy long. You can sell short. You can even spot trade XRP, which is incredible. So you can trade XRP to other cryptocurrencies, uh, you know, crypto to crypto, which is super cool. Not many other exchanges do that. I've had no problems with Bityard. If I ever had a problem, I could, and it was a glitch on the website or something, I just click help and then I message them and they fix the problem and we're good to go. So I highly recommend you check them out. The best part is, and I'm not trying to like shill you to use this website, but you know, for people that are interested and they watch your channel because they're interested in trading XRP and crypto, they offer a demo account, which is amazing. So, you know, this allows you to take a step out and practice your skills and just play around with it and have fun. If you want to start trading, this is something I, I would recommend doing prior to doing anything. You know, you don't have to trade ever. You know, I'm not, I'm trying to be transparent. You don't have to ever touch trading real crypto because it's very risky, as you know, but you can just have fun and play around with a demo account. They give you 100K in Monopoly money to test your skills and you can buy long and you can sell short. Nothing changes on the website here and you can trade around it. You know, we've, it starts with 100K. We've made a couple hundred dollars off of it. It's super easy. And that's why I like, you know, BitYard so much is that they offer this as a method. Uh, the best part is if you sign up with the link down in the description below and then you click on mystery box right here, you can actually get some free crypto, which is super cool. But with that being said, moving on from XRP, 
Ethereum and Bitcoin have hit its bottom. We know this. We're hanging on for dear life. So unlike XRP, which is extremely overbought, Ethereum and Bitcoin, Ethereum and Bitcoin, not corn, uh, is extremely low right now. We're really retesting oversold, and we're, we found a very, very vital support. Ethereum is retesting its neckline support here, and we're hoping to stay above this and rally up. That's the goal here. Bitcoin as well is testing not only its neckline, this is its bottom support. Like, this is it. You know, we are at the last straw. This is it. If this thread breaks, we break through this, we are not in a good standing here. We had the triple bottom happen here, and we broke bullish. We're looking for the same thing to happen. We're holding on for dear life, literally holding on for dear life, because if we start closing lower, we are going to dump to 10K very, 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 very quickly, which is uh, quite nerve-wracking. So we have to pay a lot of attention here. We thought we would we would short it if we close below. Clearly, that's not the case. We've fallen down to supports. We've reversed back up. So it's not time yet to buy in. We need to wait to see how exactly we play out. But the goal is we're getting very close to retesting this. If we could break through this, we could see a very substantial rally to the upside. S&P has finally pretty much caught up with the cryptos. Probably today will be the last day. We're now oversold. There's a good chance we are going to retest this and rally up. I, that's what I think. I think we're going to retest it bounce off and then start to head up higher. That's truly what I believe is going to happen here um, is that we'll bounce off this support because if we break through this, it's not a good look for the markets and we are going to dump very, very, very low. But typically when we become oversold, it usually marks the bottom and then we usually bounce off this. So that's truly what I'm expecting here. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up today's video. Definitely make sure to smash the like button, enter the giveaway, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>